optical illusion toys or animated image toys like this uh, were popular in Victorian times, uh, way before the invention of uh, mo uh, moving film or t television. Um, my favourite one though is called a, a zoetrope. I think the word comes from the Greek uh, wheel of life. Um, so here's how to make a zoetrope. Um, this sheet is, is available from me. The first thing we do is to stick it onto a piece of black card. Once you've got that stuck down, we then cut it out into two pieces and then these two pieces are stuck end to end and then uh, all the slots are cut out. These are the slots that you actually look through. So we're going to join these two together using the tab and stick them on with um, two pieces of sticky tape, wrap the tape round and then put another piece of tape on the other side as well. When you've done that we're then going to um, stick this together in a, a loop but make sure that the um, image is on the inside of the cylinder. Um, when I work with children doing this I keep an eye on them because you always get one bright spark who puts the image on the outside. So make sure you put the image on the inside um, again, we could use um, sellotape there uh, to stick that together. I happen to have a glue gun handy, so let's use that. There we go. Make sure the image is on the inside. So that's stuck. I might put some more sellotape on that later on. Um, next we need a, a disc, this is using my favourite material Corex again, um, you can buy these ready made from me and hopefully that's going to be a nice fit inside, yes it is. And again we could put some sellotape round here, um, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue just to fix it in place. So we'll put some glue there in four places just to hold it. Turn that back, back around again and that should hold it in place. Make sure it doesn't stick to the table of course. Okay, now we need to um, be able to spin the zoetrope. So we need a piece of um, four millimeter dowel and I've got a wheel here now hopefully I should be able to push this through, just push it through a little bit so that that can then go through the hole in the middle of the correct. Now we need to fix that in place, we, we could use sellotape but once again I'm going to use my glue gun. There we are, and that's it. Uh, you spin the zoetrope. I think it's, that's it. I don't know if you're picking this up through the images, but I can see um, a cheetah running, the silhouette of a cheetah running at the bottom, and a hawk or an eagle hovering, hovering above. Um, you can make a deluxe version of this uh, if you slide on a, a jumbo straw, and then to keep the jumbo straw from falling off just uh, put a, a bead on the end and now you can hold the straw and spin it. Oh, going backwards, there we go. So it's a really nice toy to make and with older children I'd encourage them to s slot in their own strip of white paper and perhaps um, come up with their own designs. Uh, perhaps something like a bouncing ball would, would be a good idea to start off with. So that's how to make a zoetrope.